When money enters a scene in our lives, somewhere along the line, oftentimes we begin to mistake it for being our source. And for most of our life, we will chase money like our own shadows. Now, how successful have you been in chasing your shadow and actually catching it? Anybody? Some double-jointed people might be able to do this. But I always remember <laughs> my father, my mentor, telling me at a very young age that this world, this material world, and money as being a big part of it, is like your shadow. The more you chase after it, the more it's going to move away from you. Try it sometime. However, the minute you turn away from it and go, go your own way, choose your own path, it will follow you. Isn't that cool? It will follow you. But when we make money the source of our being, when we make money and all that's material, the source of our happiness, if you want to use that term broadly, then oftentimes we find we're in survival consciousness. Because there's never enough, is there? I know people who have a lot of money. According to me, most people have a lot of money. <laughs> but they don't feel they do, or they don't feel they have enough. Or when they do have it, then the rest of their life is, uh, is spent in trying to protect it, keep it safe from the bad guys, managing it. And in the process, you miss out on the gift of life itself. And then you leave it for the kids anyways, the ungrateful ones who spend it and have a great time. There you go, guys. There you go. That's it. Do we need to talk anymore? Are you depressed enough? <laughs> you came all the way down here for this. But some interesting thoughts how we make money our source. The fact is that the external reality is that there are factors outside ourselves. There's political, economic, social. We have circumstances over which we have little direct control. So those of us who want to argue, Tarun, get real. Have you been out in the real world lately? I've forgotten what that world, after a few days on this cruise, it's like, what world? Isn't this life? Isn't this the world? Just don't turn the news on and you're fine, okay? But the internal choice, it's also a fact that we always have an internal choice and we have control about, over how we relate to the external realities. And by realigning our attitudes, our thinking, by reframing our thinking, we can create a better reality for ourselves. See, you have that power. Nobody can take that away from you. <laughs>